Himself to pleasure, a sea boat he loaded, and bore on his bosom the beaming gold son of Wales. The worm was consumed. He had of all heroes the highest renown among races of men. This refuge of warriors for deeds of daring had decked his name since the hand and heart of Herod grew slack in battle. He swiftly banished a mingle of monsters at mercy of foes. To death was betrayed, for torrents of sorrow had lamed him too long, a load of care. To earls and eighthlings all he proved, oft indeed in earlier days, for the warriors wayfaring wise men mourned, who had hoped of him help from harm and bale, had thought their sovereign's son would thrive, or follow his father, his folk protect, the horde and the stronghold hero's land, home of the slidings. But here Thane said, the kinsmen of Hegelic kinder, seemed to all, the other was urged to crime, and afresh to the race, the follow roads, by swift steeds measured, the morning sun was climbing higher, clansmen hastened to high-built hall, those hardy-minded the wonder to witness, warden of treasure, crowned with glory, the king himself with stately band from the bright bower strode, and with him the queen and her crowd of maidens measured the path to the mead house fair.